the, the thought is, is we'll, we'll get the problem fixed in the software, uh, we'll apply it, we'll apply our new estimating procedure to, to those customers that didn't get billed to determine uh, the revenue that we lost as a result of that problem. Uh, and then we're, we're going to have to have some additional meetings to talk about the next step. So I understand that it's a software issue, but we also talked about utility billing coming up with a procedure or a, a checkbox or something for themselves to be able to see this on a report or check for it or, you know, so a person checking it, not just the software in case they don't enter something or the software doesn't ask for it or it's got bugs. Is there any traction on that or is there a good report they can run that would help them? Do we know? I'm not sure, Mark. We, we did talk about that, that there need to be some parameters uh, on not, not just large commercial customers, but all customers mm -hmm. right. uh, that, uh, you know, that, that uh, flag uh, a problem that might be where, where the, the, the consumption is either too high or way too low. Right, uh, and um, I, I don't know what the report. You know, so like. that a, so that a pair of human eyes then can look at it and say, "Hey, this doesn't make any sense." Mm -hmm. Right. <clears throat> so we're 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 working with them, and 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 Amy Foster and Utility Billing, uh, those those uh, folks are really good to work with, uh, and I'm confident we're going to get it we're going to get it fixed and, and fixed right. Good. Uh, but I, I just wanted to make you aware that we are working on it. The customers aware of that? That we're working towards that end? The no, customers that are involved? No. Well, they know it from January, don't they? No? They don't know. Okay. Yeah, the customers. Oh, so they, they haven't been notified yet. They got you. Fair enough. Yeah. Well, to your point, though, we haven't notified them because we didn't know what we are going to do about it because we haven't got to the point to figure out what they owe. Right. We but need should, to let them know. Yeah, should we notify them, send them a, a notice just to say, hey, there is an error. Right. We don't know how much you owe yet, but okay. something's going to come down the pipe. I think it's always best to know what we're doing before they contact us. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Otherwise, you're open Pandora's box. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, I mean, you don't want to scare them or anything. Yep. Fair enough. All right, nothing more on that. Uh, last item under work session, miscellaneous. Got anything for us, Bill? No, I, I, don't, I don't think so, Mr. Chairman. I, uh, I had a couple miscellaneous items, and I think I'll go ahead and cover them underneath new business miscellaneous, if that's okay. Fair enough, sounds reasonable. All right, it's 7.25, so we can go ahead and roll into our regular meeting then. I will go ahead and call us to order. First order of business, and please join me in setting the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, as always, uh, during our regular meeting, first order of business is to hear any requests, comments, petitions by members of the public. Members of the public are welcome to use this time to make comments about electric matters or items on the agenda that are not part of a public hearing. Mr. Frank. Yes. David Franks, 226 Meadowbrook Circle, Gardner. Uh, on what Bill Krawcheck just mentioned on the uh, billing, I just paid my bill today, and it was overread by at least 2,000 kilowatts. Instead of being $175, it was $403. This is the third time this year, or not this year, but this 12-month period that my bill has been misread. Something's got to be done because uh, it keeps on going. And if I'm the only one, I mean, if I was the only one that was getting it, but I know I'm not. There's several other people that's getting misreads all the time. So the faster we get this taken care of, the better off everybody's going to be in the city. 
because finance isn't catching it. Meter readers are not catching it. And that, that should have put a red flag up doubling my utility in one month. And it's not. Thank you. Mr. Chairman, is it okay to ask him, I mean, can we? Sure. I mean, I, I don't know what. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, I would allow that. Okay. I, um, David, I was just going to ask, did, did you contact Utility Building or talk to him about your bill? I just opened up my bill today because it was in the wrong mailbox. I okay. knew it was coming out late. Okay, so you're not... Uh, so I just wrote a little nasty gram in there and to finance because the finance is... Uh, they don't care really. They just want their money and everybody else's money. David, one more thing, if sure. I could. Um, so you said this is the third time it's happened in the last 12 months, correct? Mm -hmm. When you've noted that in the past, I assume you brought that to their attention, obviously. Well, I wrote little letters into the into the bill itself. I don't know if they just threw them away or what. This time it was a little bit longer, and I didn't sign it. My wife did. So she just wanted a response. <laughs> so, so in the past, in the the previous two times this has happened, have they sent you a revised bill? No, or no. It, they just put it on as credit. Right now, for a total month, and you know this is a cold month, I've used uh, right around 250 kilowatts. And you got a bill for 2250. Oh, I got a bill for 400, and it's 3,000 some odd kilowatts. So, do you know if the previous ones had anything to do with an estimation, and then they were trying to catch up, and they've just been off the whole time? No, this one right here, I, I believe they did estimate it. Because the water was estimated, and the water shouldn't have been estimated because they put one of those new meters on my uh, water where all I have to do is walk by it and flip it with a wand and I'll read it. But uh, the water says estimated. So if they estimated my water, they estimated my electricity too. Yeah, and you would think if you estimate one month that you're going to get caught up the next. So the fact that it's three months, that means you have six bills that are effectively wrong. Well, it didn't ha happen all at the same time. Sure, but I mean, the first one's going to be high and the next one's going to be low, low, or vice versa, mm -hmm. potentially, on, on your usage. It doesn't make sense that you have so many estimations that are causing a problem. That's not the only look at. Yeah, well, and, and the mere fact that, that this one is, is off by something on the order of a thousand percent. Well, it's, it's three, I use, they say I use 3,009 kilowatts. On the, on the little graph, is that the highest bar? Oh, no. Okay. So no, no, a couple other times on the <coughs> electric, uh, they said I used uh, 3,400. That was one of them that was misread. If you throw out the three that are misread, is there any way you believe that the 12 month rolling average could be that high? So then the question is, where'd the number come from? I can show you my graph here. You have a dial meter, Dave? Yeah. Those are the numbers in the red. Well, yeah, I mean, if you take the average of all of that, it should be down here. There's no way an estimate should be over 3,000. Yeah, something's wrong. And this is just one citizen of 20,000. We think. We don't know. Well, I'm just... And I do know how to read electric meters. <laughs> I should hope so. So, Bill, who do we need to reach out to on the city side to bring that to their attention as a grand example of... Well, I, I need to reach out to Amy Foster again, utility building, and have her look at, uh, look at Dave's situation. Um, when you do, can you have her check to make sure that it didn't... It wasn't something else that might have affected a group of customers. Right. And Dave's got a dial meter, and I will say that some of those, depending on the, the way that the dial is explained, uh, uh, you have to look at them really close because it's easy, easy to make it a thousand more or a thousand less, depending on. But the software should still catch that. Uh, I, I agree. But uh, we, we do provide training to those meter readers. Dial meter 